Hi, and welcome to High Encoding. I'm your host, Mohamed Azam, and this is the second part of the e-study application. Uh, the main purpose of the application is to learn different things and to create the uh, application in an agile way, agile manner. Um, so what I'm trying to do in this one is to just to load the page and view the page, which is a registration page, um, using the hookups of the uh, controllers and the dependency injection using structure map. Okay, so this is my page, which is the index.aspx, a very simple page, nothing to it. If I run the page right now, you will see that it uh, it fails. Okay, and the reason it fails is that the role repository has not been initialized. And if you go to the controller, you will see that uh, we have already set up the controller with the I role repository uh, argument and I user repository. Okay, and if you go into the global.asax, I'm also configuring over here for structure map configuration dot configure for HTTP contacts. If you go to this method, you will see that uh, all the assemblies or all the classes are actually configured using a scan operation. What scan actually does, it goes to your assembly and it finds the uh, interfaces like I role repository or I user repository and then it finds the concrete classes based on the name of your interfaces. So if you have I role repository, it will going to look at role repository. If you have I user repository, it will look at user repository. Of course, you can override it by providing your own default convention scanner, but uh, I use, I always use like I role repository, I will always have a role repository for it. Okay, but you can always override it by the way. So even though I'm doing this, all of this uh, configuration, when I run the page, it says that uh, the repository has not been initialized. And the reason is that we are using the default operation or the default ASP.NET provider of the factories to create the controller. What we need to do is to override those with our own factory. So I'm just going to add one more file over here. I'm going to say this is my structure map controller factory and this will be responsible for creating the controller. Okay. And uh, this will be, let me see, I always forgot, forget the name of this one. So what I'm going to do over here is that we have a controller builder dot current dot set controller factory and you are going to set the uh, controller factory and I can say over here new structure map controller factory. Okay. And then I can go over here, I can say default controller factory. And then I can override the get controller instance method. I can say over here that if uh, controller type is equal to null, then you basically return null. So what we are basically doing is we are telling ASP.NET that, hey, get out of the way. We are responsible for creating the controller. And the, the whole reason that we are responsible for creating the controller is that our controller uh, when it should be initialized, it should be initialized with the I role repository and I user repository. Okay, and then I can say it simply, oops, return object. Ah, I cannot really type well. Object factory dot get instance. Okay, and I can say over here that what type of uh, instance that I need. So I can say controller instance. Um, as I controller factory or I controller actually. There we go. Okay, so after we have done this, what we need to do is to go into global.as and set up the uh, tell it that we are going to use a new factory which will be a structure map controller factory. And structure map, our dependency injection container, will be responsible for initializing and creating the uh, controller, which in this case is a registration controller. So now when it creates a registration controller, you will see 
that it will initialize the I role repository and I user repository since we are using structure map now or any sort of dependency injection container. So let me run it again. And you will see that now uh, the whole application actually loads perfectly and it didn't really throw an exception. The reason it didn't throw an exception is that we have already told it ASP.NET or MVC default uh, controller factory to move out of the way and we're going to use our structure map or dependency injection to create our own controllers. Okay, now uh, the code has been updated on GitHub. If you like to download the code, this is the URL. You just have to clone the URL using the Git tool if you're using on Mac or if you're using on Windows, whatever tool you use to connect to Git, GitHub, uh, you can use this. On one last note again, uh, high on coding, many articles are published there, videos, new podcast every week most probably, and donations. We need your donations. Um, it uh, takes a tremendous amount of time to create videos, approximately 30 to 60 minutes, and then we need to convert the video. Uh, it takes like heck of a lot of, lot of time. Then there are bandwidth usages and hosting costs that are one of the major expenses. Uh, we like to keep all the content on high encoding free and uh, this can only be done if you open your heart and for a small donation. There is a one-time donation you can do or you can do a monthly donation. As you can see, even the highest monthly donation is only $10, which is much less than, than the amount that you'll spend on the, in a week on a, on a, on a cup, cup of coffee. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, please open your heart for small donations. Uh, I would really appreciate it and we can get more staff and more machines to compile these and to convert these videos because it takes a heck of a lot of time to convert even a single video. Uh, thank you very much and stay tuned for uh, more videos.